button. There we go. It's recording, it says. So, hey, it's Monday. It has to be Monday because it says it's recording right there. I hope you enjoyed your weekend, baby. I did. I had a thoroughly good time last night on our Blue Dot family meeting. Had a great time with Tim Cormall and, and uh, Joe Santorsa and Kathy Larkin, who stopped by. Uh, we appreciate them tremendously coming by and sharing their time with the family. Had some music, had some stories last night, and had a great time. So I kind of enjoy that shit. Kind of a relaxing bit from all the, the, the American horror story, baby. That's what it is. There you go. Isn't that what we're, we're dealing with right now? You take a close look at that face, baby, because that's who we're dealing with right now. A madman. An American horror story who's gone off the deep end, and nobody gives a shit over there on the Republican side. Oh, it's just him. That's just Donnie being Donnie. Yeah. Well, Donnie ain't giving up so easy, evidently. Uh, he had a whole list of people over to the House, you know, over to the White House this weekend, uh, including today. He had uh, he had Mike Flynn. He had Sidney Powell. Steve Bannon. Are you shitting me? You brought Steve Bannon back in. Are you that's just so, Danny under, oh, I see, I see, I see. It'll pardon, huh? Getting a little pardon there, there, Steve, are you? Peter Navarro, the trade advisor. What the hell's he doing in there? What, is he a Nazi too, planning to overthrow the government there, Peter, are you? No shit. Rudy Giuliani, of course he's in there. And some guy named, I didn't even know this guy, Patrick Byrne? Patrick Byrne, he's the founder of Overstock.com, uh, but they chased him after out of the company after he made a bunch of uh, wacko statements about the deep state, the secret society, so you know where his mind is. These are the people that Donnie is meeting with to try to try to come up with a plan, even after even after the electoral college has voted. Even after the American people have spoken with over 7 million more votes, 306 electoral votes, in Donnie's word, a landslide, baby. But not for not for Joe. Ah, uh -uh, Donnie still won't give it up. So he's plotting, baby. He's plotting. They wanna they wanna go seize voting machines. Uh, you can't do that, Donnie. Uh, you know. Donnie still hasn't gotten over this idea because he has no idea how our country is run. He doesn't know anything about the Constitution or the laws of this nation. He doesn't give a shit to learn either. None of his business. Doesn't concern money. He's not interested. States run elections. Those voting machines that you want to go seize and take them, they don't belong to the federal government, buddy. You can't seize shit. Nothing. It's a state-run entity. Your ass ain't got nothing to do with it. You're just there to, to, to count the vote. I mean, get the vote count, Donnie. We got the vote count. You lost. You lost. You're a loser. And now you want to plot? And they're not done, baby. It's not only that. They, they, they uh, what, what is that? They, they want, uh, they want an investigation into Hunter Biden. They want to sign Sidney Powell as a, as a special prosecutor. Yeah. The wacko lawyer who got thrown off of the Trump and Trump legal team because she's a wacko. They want to put her as special prosecutor. Nothing political here, though. Nothing personal. You know, she just go by the law. Are you shitting me? They think we're fools. They think this country will stand by and let them do anything they want. I don't think so, baby. I don't think so. If his ass makes it to 20, uh, January 20th without without Mike Pence all of a sudden having an epiphany and, and deciding, oh, maybe we better get the wacko out of the White House before he tries to implement martial law. You know, General Flynn's up there, the great traitor of the United States, the great, the great dishonorable Michael Flynn who shit on his oath to the Constitution and instead took up the oath to uh oh QAnon. Yeah, that's it. Who is that guy? Yeah, nobody knows yet. Nobody knows who the hell QAnon is. You ain't never going to know who QAnon is because it's all made up bullshit. But Mike Flynn, he swore an oath to him, baby. Where I go one, we go all. Are you shitting me? Go off the freaking cliff. All of y'all, just walk off the freaking cliff. Bunch of 
bunch of lemmings or is that is that what we're dealing with <laughs> they have more plans they had more plans baby they got mo mo brooks mo brooks out of alabama senator from the great state of alabama is planning on on, on in interrupting the january 6th acceptance of the electoral college he's going to refuse to ratify the electoral college on what grounds? On what grounds has, has, has Mr. Brooks got anything to do with this? Well, he just doesn't believe it was a fair election. He thinks Donnie won, and that should be it. Another senator of this United States willing to disgrace his honor, his integrity, throw his good name into the ditch, and smush it up in there with all the Trump shit the crap that we have had to suffer through for four freaking years. And he's happy with that. Ah, a little Trump shit on him. On him. Hey, ain't going to hurt him. He's probably got lots of money. He's a senator. Name me a senator who ain't a millionaire. Name me a congressman who ain't a millionaire. Anyway, I hear you're going to get your $600. I saw a meme posted by the uh, North Padre Island Democrat Club I belong to out here. Uh on the island, and on Padre Island, and it was a, uh, oh shit, I done forgot her name. The French queen who said, let them eat cake, and it was a portrait of her. Back in the old days, uh, you know, when uh, the French stormed the Bastille and said, uh, no, we don't want cake. And, and society changed after that. Well, let them have $600. It's the penance that they give you. Now go away, peasants. Don't bother us. It's sad to watch so many people in this country suffer and having to, having to s s scrounge by on, on just anything they can get. Lining up at food lines by the mile and they see this in their own districts, in their own states, in their own cities. And they dilly-dally around with, with, with discussions about about protecting corporations or some bullshit like that while the people suffer. Nothing's going to change between now and January 20th. You're going to get your $600. Be thankful for that. I will be. I can use the $600, baby. Believe me. Uh, but that's not enough to help a whole lot of people. And, and, and I expect after Joe Biden becomes president, there'll become another stimulus bill passed. And hopefully if we take the Senate, if we get rid of, 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 of Purdue and, and, and Laffler, 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 whatever her name is, get rid of them two idiots and take control of the Senate, then we have a chance at making big change in this country. I'm happy with, with Joe Biden's cabinet picks. I can see a future developing. And, and, and especially on the environmental issues. I just love that shit. I, I, I'm just waiting to see that happen to advance our, our infrastructure. And if there's anything left after the Russians get done, you know, plan with it. Well, Donnie says shit again. Anyway, that's Monday, baby. We still got 30 days of this shit of the American horror story with this madman in our house Hey, he's supposed to go to Mar-a-Lago uh, near the end of this week. I'm going to go down to Mar-a-Lago and celebrate Christmas. And, you know, actually, they're, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, get the hell out. Go, go, and don't come back. But they're worried about it when he goes to Mar-a-Lago because uh, the White House uh, legal staff and everybody won't have, won't have visibility of who he's meeting with and who he's plotting with. Down in Mar-a-Lago, he'll have free reign to talk to anybody he wants to. Drop by, you know, plan a little insurrection, a little dictatorship, maybe. Maybe they'll get a slice of the pie if they jump on board now. Ah, there'll be so much to worry about between now and January 20th. With Christmas upon us in this season, uh, it, it's going to be tough for a lot of people. And uh, I don't know. We got to make it different because if we want the society, if we want this world to change, then we're the ones that have to change it. And our voices continue uh, to be the driving force for, a force for that. I ain't starting over. Not this late in the game. Shit, no, I'm recording. It's already quarter till six. 
damn, I got to get this done. I just got home a little while ago. I did get mail today. I got mail today, but I'll show it to y'all tomorrow. I got mail, but I wanted to call out yesterday at the end of the show. We had a couple of donations came in, or a donation and a Patreon member come in. And I'll hit the gong tomorrow for you. But Maxine Andres, uh, thank you for your donation, baby. We appreciate it tremendously. And Cheryl Cashman, who joined our Patreon family, baby, uh, I'll give you both the gong tomorrow. I'm sorry we missed it at the end of the show yesterday. Uh, that's my fault. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. wasn't Travis because he don't control that shit. I do. Anyway. It's Monday. Let's make it through the week. We'll be here tomorrow night for another Blue Dot family meeting, so please come by and join us through Discord. You can go by bluedotintexas.com, follow the link for Discord, and find out how you can come in and, and visit with the family. Uh, it tends to be growing nowadays, and we always love to hear new people and uh, voices come into the room, so please do that. Anyway, what else I got? I talked to Jorge Tirebotter today. Me and Jorge's making some plans. We might let y'all in on that shit because January 20th, you know, there's an event going to be happening and I'm going to be shaving. And we're starting to put it in the works exactly how we're going to do that and uh, where we're going to do that and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, uh, I so enjoyed talking to Jorge today and, uh, and all our blue dots anytime I get a chance to. Uh, so thank you for, for being there. Thank you for... Thank you for uh, Oh, I got mail. To, I got Christmas cards and a package, and I'll show them tomorrow. I got a package from Donna Bonacosi today, uh, who sent a wonderful selection for Mama for her facial, uh, some aloe vera gloves and socks, and and sent Rose a nice present and me a nice little present. Uh, I appreciate it tremendously. Uh, thank you very much, Donna. And uh, let me see. Yep, that's all I got, baby. Remember, pandemic, wash your hands, uh, wear a mask, uh, stay the hell away from ugly looking people, and uh, try to put a smile on somebody's face. It'll make your day. Anyway, now I got to find the button over here. All right, I love y'all. Y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you tomorrow night. Let me see. I can't see the damn thing. Oh, there it is. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye.